Good day everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to discuss about use of project forecast in Odoo 40, that is project planning. So using project module, we can create tasks and assign to employ on each project and keep deadlines and check progress of each project. So let's open project module. So in order we can make use of project uh, forecast feature that is planning to plan the time needed for the completion of tasks by an employee. So for enabling that option, first we have to go to configuration settings. And under time management, you can see the option planning. So this is used to estimate the time needed to complete a task that is planned resource allocation across projects and tasks and estimate deadlines more accurately. Okay, so after enabling this option, we can plan our project. And if you want to create timesheet for your projects and tasks, you can enable this timesheet. Okay, so coming back to our dashboard, so you can see all the created projects. And you can see planning option for each project. So when you click on this planning, you can plan, uh, that is add planning for your project. And that is uh, task planning and assign tasks to employees. So from here, uh, so you can see that this is filtered according to the project by this project, uh, project name. So we can add planning for this particular project. And you can also close this, okay, and you can add planning for other projects. Okay, so I am clicking this add button to add a new planning for this project. So you can see all the shift templates uh, for the uh, project. You can see the shifts that is time and the roles. Okay, so here I am selecting an employee and assigning a task to this employee. So I'm choosing employee Andrew Oliver and can see his, uh, this, this employee's roles and project under which uh, she was working. So this project is automatically came as we, have, we are creating planning for this project. Okay. Then here we can create a new task or add an existing task that is assign an existing task for this employee. design create and edit so when you click that so you can see the task and here we can assign to okay so here we can see the time sheets and we can add an initially planned hours. Okay, suppose I'm adding 30 hours for this task. And here I can add the work. So if Andina Oliver have started some work, can add the planning that is work hours here. So I'm not adding that right now. So just save this. So when you save this task, you can see the allocated time, allocated hours, and initially planned hours, forecasted hours. So uh, the allocated hours, it depends upon the date that you set here. Okay, so suppose I'm setting, and since you can see allocated hours is changed to seven and a half. This is based uh, by using, based on the shift, this hours is allocated. So I have been changing this to Okay, now we can see allocated hours is 27 or 3 uh, minutes, 30 minutes. Then you can see the initially planned hours. And so this effective hours change, that is the number of hours an employee's time sheet for this task during the time frame of the shift. That is when you add uh, lines 
that is work lines, then this effective hours will change. Okay. Then it is also possible to repeat this task. Like when you click on this, you can see it repeats every week, uh, every week forever or until a particular day. So when you choose until, we can we have to specify a date. So if said the recurrence stop at that date, otherwise the recurrence will be applied indefinitely. So I am setting it to December 12. So it will repeat until this date. So after adding the uh, these details, just save this. Okay, so by clicking this arrow, we can change the date. So here you can see for this date, to a particular date, you can see planned project, which, which was assigned to the employee, Angelina Oliver, and you can see the project name and the task name and start date, stop date and allocated hours for that project. And if there are any conflicts, then that also can be seen here. So you can see two other shift conflicts uh, other okay so uh, it is also possible to group these uh, that is project planning according to uh, project uh, task and employee okay so suppose I am changing the date just closing this and grouping according to employee and project so you can see uh, employee employee name and the project under which employee is working so you can see the plan project and the shifts also can be seen here So when you click on this, you can see that planned project planning. So this uh, schedule is week wise. So we can change it, it to day wise, month wise and year wise. And we can expand this rows. And also it is possible to collapse rows. And we can uh, change date like we can if you want to see the schedule of today, then we can click today and see the schedule. And it is also possible to send the schedule. So when you click on send schedule, uh, we can set the period, we can see the period and we can see the employees. So we can include open shifts and publish and send or just publish the planning. And this can be also filtered according to published uh, projects planning. And so you can see all the published projects and we can see uh, open shifts, then all the pub published uh, projects in future, that is in past can be seen here. And we can see the future plannings. You can see the future plannings here. So there are a lot of filtrations available for our project plannings. And it is also possible to uh, view the reporting. That is, we have timesheet and planning analysis for our project. So when you click on that uh, reporting, you can see uh, planning analysis, which has different measures available. That is based on effective hours, number of hours, planned hours, count, then difference, 
so for that we can see graph view bar chart that is pie chart view line chart view you can see this and which can be grouped according to employee task project and we can also add filtration based on date and here we, we also have a pivot view for this uh, planning or timesheet analysis so we can see all the planned um, projects for employees which is which was assigned for employees uh, effective hours and difference on different dates can see this So that's all about project forecast in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.